reproduction in planaria. Planaria belongs to tapeworm or flat worms class, which includes a big variety of worms. Its length varies between one millimeter to several meters, as in tapeworm. So tapeworm, a kind of worm which can live in human digestive system, and it's from six to ten meters long worm, and its flat body is thin and horizontal as a leaf of the tree or long looks like a tape so it called a tape worm sexual and asexual reproduction in planaria asexual reproduction in planaria the planaria reproduces asexually by fragmentation which means partition of a structure into similar pieces and regeneration each of the species of structures regenerate missing parts and complete grow into new complete organism so when the worm is cut into many pieces these pieces each of them grow and renew to form a new complete worms so like in this shape one and two and three and four one complete tapeworm divided into four pieces but each of them complete its missing part to form four complete organs so it's one similar organism similar to mother is formed but without production of male and female reproductive cells so it is asexually reproduction the laboratory experiment have proved that fragmentation mispartition represent a procedure which brings attention to laboratory studies for example if a piece from the middle of planaria like this piece remove it it may form a new head and a new head and a new tail by fragmentation this piece keeps its original poles so the head grows at the front side and the tail grows at the back side continuously if we turn this many times in different location or position or mediums but always the side of head makes head and the back side forms the Tail. Planaria of fresh water reproduce asexually by also binary fission. Binary fission is an asexual type of reproduction which we studied before in bacteria and unicellular organisms, but also some animals like planaria, they can reproduce asexually by binary fission. So the animal pinches off behind the throat, like in this picture we see from the side of head. It pinches off more gradually than the animal divides into two individuals, each one of them complete its missing parts. Like one complete planaria in this page, first head and after from head to the tail divide into two. Each part complete its missing part by regeneration again and as a result two genetically similar organisms are formed by binary fission. And it is type of asexually reproduction binary fusion in planar is quick type of reproduction so means by asexually reproduction especially binary fusion in planaria in a short time a lot of organism can be formed the organism or tapeworm reproduce in this type when the population decreases when the member of this population decreases to increase number in a short time they reproduce asexually by binary fusion so there are two types of asexual reproduction fragmentation and regeneration is one type only of reproduction and second one is binary fission sexual reproduction in planaria planaria is hermaphroditic which means the same organism has female reproductive organ ovary and also the male reproductive organ testes the same animal has got male and female reproductive organs the male reproductive organ consists of many sphere shaped testes which we can see there are about seven one two three four five six and seven pairs of testes connected to the vast difference vast difference is the duct which transport the male reproductive cells that for transportation 
The vas deferens is connected to the penis on both sides and the penis enters into the genital cloaca. Genital cloaca, the part of body which releases the male repro or the female reproductive cells out of body. So the terms of cloaca, we mainly use if an opening, we use it in excretion and also in reproduction, we call it cloaca, but being genital means about reproduction. The seminal vesicle, a new term, a part of male reproductive system which store the male reproductive cells, situated near the base of penis, the sperm forms in the testis by spermatogenesis, it passes by the vas deferens to the seminal vesicle, vas deferens transport, and the seminal vesicle store them until organism need these reproductive cells. So I mean the testes produce vas deferens transport, seminal vesicle stores the male reproductive cells, and they release it out of body through the genital cloaca. Female reproductive organ consists of two ovaries, only two, they remain this purple colored globular structure, they are glands only, they are not ovary. The two long oviducts, ducts which transport female reproductive cell, where many glands are connected to them, so we said uterus and vagina where they are open to genital, cloaca, as male also, female, because planaria has only one opening for reproduction, for nutrition, for excretion, and genital cloaca. The eggs forms inside the ovary, passes to the oviduct, oviduct transport them to the uterus where fertilization takes place. Then the cocoon is formed. Coco cocoon is a bag-like structure which contains the fertilized egg, the zygote, then the embryo. During the intercourse, the sperm transfer from one animal to the another. Two intercourse animals or two conjugated animals, the reproductive organs are designed to prevent self-fertilization. As we said, the <coughs> planaria is hermaphrodite. It has ability to produce male reproductive cell by testis and female reproductive cell by ovary. But the design of the reproductive system in planaria must prevent cell fertilization. So it need what? Need cross fertilization.